guys and welcome to my channel today we are going to solve another wall hop machine this time called plunk i've just prepared the environment and it's ready to go as you know and we always do the same works here we go to wall hop and we make our new block directory and just go to this directory we use orp scan to scan the environment to find the ip address of the victim as we can see here it's one on one h9 136 and this time we can take a note of this one and put it right here so the next thing we want to do is to use edmap tag p tag and it's a good syntax for doing this 136 and let's find out which ports are open on this machine so as we can wait here this is what we see here port 22 80 mysql and lmnr is activate is activated on this machine and it's listening so i'm going to start my work from visiting port 80 168 h9 136 and as we can see here is the main page of plug so we have a few menus here we have admin yeah this is the admin panel contact us about and home so another thing i want to do here is to open a new tab and scan the ports we found earlier port 22 port 80 06 and 5355 tag sv sc tag sv tag v tag on and map that out and the IP address of the machine 189 what was that 136 and let it map do its work to find out the exact version and service scan the open ports on the machine and meantime we can explore the main page of block and this page is quite interesting but before that let's see the page source and find if there's any available information on this page more display no nothing here we can go to about and we can see this is the url that is calling index php page equals about that php so this is a good point of testing for any file inclusion contact us is same page equals contact at php and an admin page on the admin page i just simply use admin admin now incorrect user and password no nope. hint on the page source any vulnerability for skill injection here no nothing happens here we have another skill syntax check the manual version for the right syntax near so it's just giving us some skill injection error but we can test it via skill map 2 and we'll get back to it let's see what nmap is doing here it's initiating the service scan from here and another interesting thing is that on the plug main page we can see that it's calling about that php like an argument here we can say that this parameter page is equal to about the php if we 
change it to contact.php, we see this one here. So it's good to actually use verb for configuring and checking if the site is... Oh, I just misclicked it. Yeah, this is verb. If there's any vulnerability here, and if there's anything that we can find, I just check it on verb and the environment is ready. I just refresh the page from here and see what we've got on the verb. I just send it to repeater and on the repeater page, if we send it, we got normal page, the page we've got on the Firefox. But if I use a file inclusion or pass traversal payload, for example, to see etc passability. Yeah, that's right. So we found a good file inclusion from here. And as we can see, this is the content of etc passability and all the contents are available from here. So we found a good file inclusion and pass drivers all on IoT from here. And let me see that port 22 SSH is open. It's supporting. Okay. And this is MySQL on its right, LMNR. And that's it. We can also uh, Find the website and find any new path from here. So this is a good way here, and just want to pause this path. And this is obviously good. And we are going to filter code 103 and let the site do its work. It's already found images and founts from here. So let's get back to our file inclusion and let's see what we have found here. We have found that user Bob is available on the system and user Peter, user Paul, backup tag user with this ID and actually there is something here. User local script backup.sh is available from here. It just says easier so we can Open another tab and check what is this path. It's backup.sh. This is a dir directory for a file, and this is a file inclusion, so we can check the contents of backup.sh from here. And let me see that what happens if we do that. Yeah, this is the contents of backup.sh. It's server backup. A script backup directories in a slash backups so we can get it via tftp so echo backing up data this is script was going to tatx cf backup the tar slash home this directory and we're just going to dev null so echo backup complete so this is telling us that slash backup so it's available via TFTP, so we can try to connect to this machine via TFTP and see if there is any backup.tar under slash backups directory and is it available to, for us to download it. Let me see that I found nothing from here and let's go to TFTP. We use TFTP to connect to 189.16.136 and that's it we are here we can we have the option to backups it was backup or backups it was backups and backup.tar this is a file we are going to get it Yeah, we just downloaded backup.tar from here. 
this is a posit star archive so we can unchar it so i just going to so f back up to tear and just worked we have two new directories home and var so this was quite interesting that we could a backup the chair a full backup of the website from founding this backup.sh directory and using file inclusion to actually read the contents and find there's a backup the town and it's accessible from tftp so why not listing this like here and we can see that under home bob paul we have some keys id key one key two and actual public key which is not useful for us we need a private key from here and other var www html css found js we can find that there's a normal css founds and javascript file here so the interesting thing from finding the home folder of the system of the victim is that paul has some keys which are likely to be private keys of connecting to this system from one of these private key we should check all of them and see if we can connect to system with ssh so i go to city home and on the power city keys and these are our keys that are available for us to check it we can set ssh tag i id on the line key one and using user poll To find if there is any chance to connect to the system. No, it's asking us for Paul's password. We can use ID key two, ID underline key two. No, ID underline key three. No, and ID underline key four, and that's it. ID underline key four was our correct private key to connect to the system. But uh, what we've got here is some kind of panel that's giving us it's not a normal shell. Yeah, welcome to PD menu by Joey Hess and seems that we cannot do what we want to do as a normal shell in normal shell so it happens here okay that's right and let's see what we can do here okay our options are directory listing if i use directory listing i got paul paul okay we can change our directory for example slash tmp do we change our directory yeah we just change our directory to slash tmp and we can edit file here any file for example oh yes we, we should Give it a name and maybe it's opening us for opening it for us with nano or vim or vi so who's online what's this option is going to tell us this user online user power okay what happened okay url telnet and ping for example one what happens here it's just pinging us maybe yeah we use one taxi one does it happen here no it 
does not read out taxi one. We use this syntax and the it giving us the ID. No, it didn't. But something strange happened. Stack L. No, nothing happens. Okay. Telnet. Port 80. Unable to connect to remote task, connect to refused. For example, does it work? Looking up google.com. I'm using 2168189106 and see what happens. Okay, toggle navigation block. So it's actually fetching the URL we provide for it. And this is, yeah, this is going to suit such a nice panel. What is this? Is this one can be a strange string from here so why not echo tag in here and provide this string and pipe into base 64 tag D and nothing happens so let's control C to terminate the going to fetch the URL for us and 189.6 and ID it's just working with command injection from here just terminate it and good option from here is edit file so which directory are we on we are on directory poll and we change our directory to slash tmp and the directory listing says that there are some joint files in the slash gmp file folder and we use gmp to actually test.txt and it opens a vi for us and as we all know we can escape this shell here set for example shell equals slash pin bash and that's it yeah we just successfully escaped from the panel and the awful panel that we had earlier and we have a normal shell now just using a technique from escaping from vi we just was successful to actually get a normal shell back from here and now we can continue our work to escalate other parameters and see if there's any chance to escalate our privileges from here so what I want to do is to see the actual kernel version and see if there is any chance yeah Ubuntu 16 Point 10 and on the kernel 4.8 we can check for any available exploit for this kind of this specific version but we can also check if there is any chrome tab content no there is nothing here we can check if there is any SUIDs here tag per And we can just check if there's any chance from here. User XSIM being XSIM 4.847. This is odd. This is not common. Binary pass WD, Pika exec, sudo chfn, su mount mount ping. Yeah, the only new item here is this. Exim 
So we can read, we can execute it. And what's going to do if we just execute it right here, like that? No, nothing happens. No, nothing happens here. Exim tag 4 dot 84 tag 7. So can we see it? What we can do from here is to check if there is any exploit for exim and we can do it right from here so I'll just wait exim and yes there is so many exploits from here it's 4.84 and we have 4 point for example local previous escalation yeah it's just Tag high, escalation, and this is all we can do here. Local previous escalation, it's using tag three. I think this one might work for us. And maybe this one. So I prefer to use this one from now. And I just download it from here. So just blow it tag in. And this is here. So we use Python on port 80. And I just copy it. Go to download it. But first we should see our IP address from here, 189, 189, 129, so, it's good. And script from here, we just have it. Let us see that if we are able to look at the exploit, what happens? Do we have a shell? No. Is it work for us? I think no. So can just search exploit again and maybe this one or exim for example we can also search for it on exim which version Four point eighty four point eighty four exploit local privilege escalation example privilege escalation dot sh what is this calling? We can check if this one works two thousand sixteen which was what we did here 2016 1531 this is here yeah so i just copy it and speed of the search Paste it here and serve it again. Exp.sh is 
xp.sh and switch mod 6xp.sh ch mod plus xp.sh and let me run it not found Where is this one? We can it's going to exploit this line from here if we just remove it and paste this line and once again we just we don't have the shell i think that something is wrong that we don't have we just we don't get these parameters back just cancel it let us check for another exploit maybe we use exit for exploit to search for something else exim and this one and this one for exploit db if we have any chance to 4.87 up to 4.91 this is not what we're going to check here what is this page cve it's a difference from this script and that script. I think these are both the same, maybe. But let us try this one too. So I want to download this one on the machine and from here. Let me check if I can download it. Yeah. So this one is under um, under CVE 2016. So once again, I start my web server from here and one point one. 29 and I download this one search mod plus x cve and let's run cve now local root exploit nothing happens to gain I just waited for a few seconds and it worked uh, for example if we use the previous exploit uh, it should have worked too but using this cve it just worked and it just needed for a little bit waiting and as you can see here we just have user root and now we can go to cd slash root and see what happens this is flag.txt and yes congratulations you have found the flag. This is how we can solve plug, which is a good, I think, CTF, and it has uh, so many paths and methods to escalate our privileges and escaping the shell, finding the local file inclusion, pass reversal, and find the backup. This was great CTF, and we can learn from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.